Hey, are you not a Sketchbook user? Well, if you are, I'm pretty sure you have tried at least once to import a picture or image from a web or your desktop to this application and it didn't work. Because it's not that easy, but there is still a way to actually add images to the Autodesk sketchbook and that's exactly what I'm gonna teach you in this video so enjoy hey what's up guys this is again Showtime with MZ back with another video and if you are new to this channel we are making bunch of cool technological stuff such as tutorials unboxing setups and way way more so if you're new here consider subscribing down below and just right now down in the comment section, tell me how many times have you actually tried to insert the image into the Autodesk sketchbook and it didn't work. Right, that's a lot. And now in this video, I will teach you how to actually get any image from web or desktop or your computer files, whatever it is, to the Autodesk sketchbook because it's quite hard to be honest it's not as simple as just dragging it and dropping it into the application so yeah we're gonna import the images to the Autodesk sketchbook for the later usage animating it and all that sort of stuff so without wasting time let us begin so i have here Autodesk sketchbook opened up as you can see and here we have the image that i would like to actually insert uh, into the um, Autodesk sketchbook. So let me just open it real quick. So here it is, as you can see. Um, and we're gonna insert it. But as you can see, if you're gonna just simply drag it, you see that do you want to save changes to this document before closing? So if you wanna just simply tap the save button, it will just simply close the Autodesk sketchbook and to just open this uh, image, but not in the Autodesk sketchbook. So now what you wanna do is that all the way, uh, for example, up till this very point, uh, which is right here in the menu, which you have if you are using the Mac, and you are gonna tap uh, on the file, which is right here, and you have some options such as uh, create new, new flipbook, open, open recent, close, save, 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 copy as, and all that sort of stuff, and the one that we need is this one, which says add image. And as you can see now, once you tap the add image button, you will get this screen, which looks something like this. And you either see, like you either recognize uh, this one as your, it's not the one that we need. So either you recognize it as um, like the name of the application, just by going through downloads, documents, desktop, wherever you have, in this case, I have it on the desktop, as you can see, or a short way of doing it if you have a lot of things on desktop and you don't remember the name of the application is to actually, not the application of the image. You wanna tap file, of course, add an image over there. And the thing you wanna do is that you're gonna drag it away so that the image on your desktop is visible. And you are gonna drag it, not into the sketchbook, but into this window. And there you go, it automatically chooses this uh, image that we need to actually insert. And we're gonna tap the open button over there and there you go. We have it right here. We can of course make it smaller, make it larger, make it uh, rounding, like turning around, all this sort of stuff. So we can play around with this and of course we can draw all over it. So yeah, that's how you can uh, insert the images from your desktop. Now let's move to the one where we will find out how to move images from the web to the Autodesk sketchbook. So we are gonna just simply search uh, uh, in the Google or Safari for the image that we want. So for example, um, I don't know, um, Showtime with MZ, let it be my channel. Hope there is something to get like images. Yes, there are a bunch of things. So let's get this logo or the, I don't know, let it be this one, just doesn't matter. So we're gonna just simply have it right there and we're gonna either drag it right over here to our desktop 
or if there is no way of dragging the git actually because there are sometimes the uh, cases when you cannot really uh, drag the photo then you want to actually drag it not from here where it is uh, like the preview of the image but from here so like this you know what i'm saying like this and after this you are going to go to the desk sketchbook again just simply type the tap the file button over there then add image and then you are gonna choose the photo and tap the open button and of course you can manipulate it in every single possible way um as well as draw around it as well as another picture that we got you know what i'm saying like a file um add image again we are gonna drag this one all over here and tap the open button and there we go we get the image that we wanted onto the autodesk sketchbook we can make whatever we want with this image you know um the possibilities are not uh limited so let's say so so you can draw all over the place with this uh well i'm not drawer but anyways um this is your tutorial thank you guys very very much for watching this video till this very end it really means a lot for me and if you enjoyed it then make sure to give this video a like and of course subscribe down below so that you don't miss just any future videos like this bye